Hello, my gorgeous Aquarians. This is Dams, and this is your reading for mid June 2023. Aquarius, it's great to be with you. I hope you're well. I had to smile coming out of meditation, guys. First of all, um, I realized that when I sat down, it was 1313. Now, threes are about change. One is about a brand new cycle. And if you add them all together, which is eight, eight is about progress. So, Aquarius. On top of that, the vision that I saw was of two people having a conversation on the phone. And the woman was saying to this person on the phone, no, I don't think it's possible. No, it, I'm too busy. No, I've got too much to do. Maybe another time. I then saw a clock and 15 minutes later, she was saying, OK, I'll meet you there. Really looking forward to it. <laughs> really looking forward to it. So Aquarius, I get the impression that you may be dealing with somebody highly persuasive. I'm not feeling this is somebody manipulative. I just feel that this is someone who is really, really keen to have a conversation. This is somebody you've known before. You may not have spoken to this person for a long time. They will be reaching out. Your initial reaction will be, hell no. But you may find yourself turning off the phone and thinking, how did that happen? I was absolutely firm in the belief that I didn't want to meet this person. I didn't even want to talk to this person. But somehow you're going to find yourself saying yes. OK. All right, guys. Are you ready? Should we delve in? Let's do this using, as always, an angel aura quartz to help me channel through. And the deck is the Tarot Royale by Chiro Marchetti. I think I'll be using a different deck for uh, the readings for July, so look out for that. All the decks that I use are in the description box of my readings, okay, as well as my website if you guys want a private reading. If you are also interested in joining the channel, I would love to welcome you as a new member. So Aquarius, let's see where this goes, okay? Let's see what happens. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is mid-June 2023, mid-June 2023 for Aquarius. Thank you, Michael. Okay, they wanted to come out for a reason. I'm getting that butterflies in the stomach type feeling, Aquarius. <laughs> You may be absolutely dead set on turning this person away, but you're going to find yourself saying yes, and then there's going to be a little bit of excitement in the air. Hmm, okay. All right. So, guys, let's find out what's going on. The deck is cut. And let's find out what these cards are all about. All right, guys, I'm showing these cards to you in order. All right. Knight of Wands. Okay, Aquarius, hang on. Knight of Wands, Two of Coins, Judgment, Four of Coins, the King of Wands. So, Aquarius. What we have here is someone who came forward towards you sitting in the Knight of Wands energy, simply wanted to have some fun. But on top of that, they were juggling you with somebody else. They face Judgment Day by the Divine, Sagittarian energy, and they realise that they couldn't let you go, Four of Pentacles. So this person is now coming forward to you, not in the form of a knight, but in the form of a king. They're ready to take action, they're ready to do the right thing. So Aquarius, that is the structure of your reading, that's sort of what may be happening for you. You may think to yourself, no way, Jose, I'm not going to be communicating with this person again. They can go and take a jump, whatever this is for you. <laughs> you may find yourself saying yes. It could surprise even you. Now, yeah, six of cups. So Aquarius, this is somebody from the past, somebody that you knew before. I have to say, whether you like it or not, this is a very strong past life energy. The lovers, Gemini energy. This is someone who can't get you off their mind. This is somebody who felt that connection with you. I'm hearing instantly, instantly. 
In the past, Page of Swords, you became very cold and defensive, Aquarius, because you sort of felt something was going on. Now, you may have thought, oh, okay, this person just wants a little bit of fun. Okay, maybe you thought, oh, we'll just go for it. Let's just see what happens. But then you may have realised that there was actually somebody else in the picture, and I think you detached. This is you giving this person a sharp message of truth. No, thank you. See you later, Felicia, right? Yeah, and actually, you were bang on. You were right. Seven of Swords. They were messing around with somebody else. I think they couldn't make a decision between you and this other person. But before they had a chance to make their decision, I think you closed the door and you may even have blocked them. Okay. What you're thinking about now is, OMG, they are coming back. Nine of Swords. What am I going to do now? In the immediate future, Ten of Swords. You're going to relive what was a painful ending. But Aquarius, you may also realise that this person has faced karma. The other, say, woman, I think, cheated on them. So they faced karma. And I'm hearing the scales were balanced. What you're fearing, oh, Aquarius, look at all this sword's energy, is sitting in the Eight of Swords. Fearing not being able to make a decision as to whether or not you even want to see this person again. In their energy, page of wands, it's going to be a small message, but with a lot of weight behind it. This isn't somebody who is simply saying, hey, how are you, for the sake of it, just because they want to catch up, they want to have a drink with you. No, they are actually ready to move this into a proper relationship. But they know that if they come on too strong initially, given the history between the two of you, you are almost definitely going to say absolutely not. So they're sort of testing the water. OK, now what you're hoping for is to put up your defences, say, no, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. Given what happened before, I don't trust you. I'm not going back there again. So you're actually hoping to push this person away, but why do I feel, Aquarius, you are going to end up meeting them? Yes, you, you will. Page of Coins is somebody who turns up with a gift. They're extremely polite. This is somebody who wants to apologise and see you to explain. I don't get any sense of ego with this person. I don't get a sense that they're trying to twist you around their little finger. They plan on manipulating you. None of that. This is somebody who has seen the error of their ways. They've gone through karma because I think a situation with the other person ended painfully. Okay. And they are now stepping into the energy of the king of wands. So this is good. All right, guys. Nine of pentacles. So Aquarius, whoever you are, I think I'm connecting with a feminine, but take it as it resonates. The Nine of Pentacles is somebody very happy being single, extremely independent, not necessarily looking for a partner and just enjoying their life. So that is you. With the Hierophant, you're going to need to do some thinking because this could be somebody that you feel a very deep spiritual connection with. It could well be that this is someone who you believe intuitively when you meet them that they are wanting to talk about a future. And Aquarius, not just any old future, not just dating you, they are actually wanting to date for marriage or a very serious long-term commitment. For some of you, this could simply be a Taurus turning up, okay? Now, in their energy... Ten of Cups, yeah. Aquarius, they are dreaming of moving into the Ten of Cups with you. That's actually what's behind this little page of Wands message or phone call. Three of Coins, they want to patch up the foundation of the relationship. They know, I think, that they caused you a lot of confusion, a lot of upset. I'm actually hearing anger. They may think that you're angry with them. So they're not going to come in all guns blazing. They're going to come in in a humble energy. All right. This is somebody who's learned how to approach you. So, guys, let's see where this goes. All right. We're going to get timing for you and clarify as to what you may do. 
Now with the Page of Pentacles, you may end up offering this person friendship. Sure, absolutely. For others of you, you're going to take it day by day, but you may let this person take you out. That's all that I think you may allow them to do. Let's just go for lunch. Let's just have a couple of dinners out. Let's just see. It's almost as if you're thinking, well, the proof is in the pudding. If this person is planning on messing me about, I'm going to feel it intuitively and I will just disconnect again. If I think this person really has changed, they've gone from the Knight of Wands to the King of Wands and they're really putting in the effort, then let's see if that's going to develop into something more serious. Yeah, it's a beautiful energy. So, people, without further ado, let's jump in. Archangel Michael, what is the Six of Cups crossed with the energy of the lovers? Nine of Cups. So, Aquarius, you were very happy for a period of time with this person, whether you want to admit it or not. The Strength card. Leo, for some. But I feel as if you started to pull back because you sensed that something wasn't quite right. You sensed something wasn't quite right. Yeah. The Fool. You may be worried that you were taken for a fool. You may have considered that you rushed into a situation with somebody, trusting them wholeheartedly, when you may have wanted to have done a little bit of research on them first, when maybe you didn't. Three of Wands. Mm. So Aquarius, I think you pushed this person away. You thought to yourself, something's not right here. And something wasn't right. Because unbeknown to you, they may have been in another connection with somebody possibly at a distance. So it wouldn't have been something that was obvious to you if you went to this person's house. It didn't seem as if they were with anyone else, you know. You were waiting for your ship to come in with this person, but it didn't work out. It, it didn't work out, Aquarius. No, no, no. Chariot, yeah. They may have pulled back very, very quickly. It might have been a bit of a chaotic energy. They may have come to see you one day and say, oh, Aquarius, you know, uh, I, I can't see you um, anymore. But, but it was lovely to meet you. Take care. Have a great life. And you may have just been reeling. Well, what the hell was all that about? I just don't know what that was all about. Uh, what happened? And then I think that was that. That was that. So I think this is what this is all about down here. This is the past between the two of you. You may have got a heads up with a page of swords that something was going on and you weren't quite sure what it was, but you wanted to find out. And I think with the seven of swords, they quickly disconnected. So what happened with the page of swords? Yeah, interesting. You asked a very simple, straight question, Aquarius, and you may have been met with a lot of defensive energy, almost anger. And you may have thought to yourself, this is so weird. Why is this person seemingly overreacting? Well, Aquarius, they overreacted. They were angry and defensive and maybe not very nice because you may have actually called them out. You may have figured out that they weren't telling you the truth and out of mortification and a little bit of ego, they were super defensive and angry with you. And I think it shocked you. This person may have gone from someone that you sort of put on a pedestal. Wow, you know, this, I'm so attracted to this person. They seem so lovely to be with. We've got lots in common. We have great chemistry. Two, who is this person? They might have sort of switched on you. You may have seen a very angry, defensive, almost toxic side of them, and it shocked you. Yeah. Yeah, they suddenly, Aquarius, turned into the King of Swords. They suddenly turned into the King of Swords from this Knight of Wands energy. Let's have fun. It's so lovely to meet you. Let's go on dates. And I think for a while you were fine. And then when you began to feel uncomfortable, you asked that question and suddenly they were the King of Swords. Suddenly they were the King of Swords. 
And I think when that happened, you emotionally detached. You emotionally detached because you sensed that something simply wasn't right. They weren't being honest with you. And you were right. You were correct. Yeah. Five of coins. So they left you out in the cold. They simply detached. After that time, maybe when this had ended, you realised that they were indeed sat in the Seven of Swords. Now, you simply might have looked back at the past and everything sort of fell into place, right? Um, you sort of put the whole thing together and thought, yeah, you know what, I should have checked before. They were bound to be in a relationship with somebody else. Or you actually found out something, maybe online, and your suspicions were confirmed. You know, yeah, Seven of Swords. So what was the Seven of Swords all about? in the immediate past, yeah, that they basically wanted to have a little bit of fun with you, but there was another woman in the mix. There was another woman in the mix. Mm. For a time, Aquarius, you may have thought, God, that's really disappointing because I was so attracted to this person. We got on so well. There was so much that we had in common, maybe. I just felt this might have been my person. And I think for a time, you just felt duped, yes? Upset, disappointed, because what you were thinking was, wow, this could have been so amazing. This could have been fantastic. And it just disintegrated. And I don't think you've spoken to this person since. I don't think you have. Yeah, you ended up moving yourself to calmer waters. You thought, okay, that's it. Well, I'm not going to try and hang on to this person. They've shown another side of themselves to me and I'm pretty damn sure that they are with somebody else. And I don't think they contacted you after that time because they knew that you'd found out they weren't honest with you. So this is tricky. What we have now is this person coming back in and you are moving straight into the Nine of Swords. I'd love to say you're not, but you are. So Archangel Michael, what is the Nine of Swords all about for my beautiful Aquarians? This is when you get that phone call or message coming in. Yes, Five of Cups. This person left me very sad, very confused. Mm-hmm, yeah, the moon. They kept secrets from me. I didn't really know what was going on. You're actually sat in fear. Fear of maybe being duped again. What else is Aquarius thinking about? Mm, there is the but. There is the but. But, oh my goodness, I think this is my person. And that one energy sort of dilutes all of the rest. This is you thinking, I know that if this person was not connected to somebody else, we would kind of be halfway to the altar by now, you know? All right, guys. So Archangel Michael, when do we have the Ten of Swords next to the Page of Wands for Aquarius? Thank you, Michael. I'm hearing early July, which is pretty soon, two to three weeks. Okay. Okay, Michael's saying 4th, 5th, 8th and 9th of July. All right, people. Let's delve into this person's energy. All right, so they are sat in the Page of Wands energy. What are they thinking about? That if they contact you, you aren't exactly going to be very pleased to see them. Why? Because they know that they kind of shot out of your life and just disappeared. They know they sabotaged the connection. What else are they understanding here, Michael? Yeah. What they're understanding is that you realise that they were giving to somebody else. The jig is up, right? They realise that you found out that you were just somebody that they were playing with. Okay, so what are they thinking about the death card, Scorpio? What they wanted to say to you is that 
the reason why I think they came on to you, Aquarius, is that they knew secretively that their person that they may have been living with, engaged to, dating, I don't think this person was married, the person that they were with was cheating on them with somebody else. And out of a sense of mortification and wanting to get their own back, they very swiftly headed in your direction. They wanted to make themselves feel better. So they kind of used you because they were going through pain relating to a karmic partner. What they're telling you now is that relationship with that other person is absolutely over and they feel betrayed. What they want to say to you is also, I feel, I now understand, Aquarius, what you went through when I left your life. I just disappeared on you. I lied to you because my person did it to me. And so the scales are balanced. What else are they saying to Aquarius? Yeah. They were dealing with a Queen of Wands who wasn't faithful to them. Yeah. Yeah. Their Queen of Wands kept a secret from them that they were having fun with somebody else. What else is this person saying to Aquarius? Four of Swords. And your person, Aquarius, had to heal from that betrayal. I think they then realised that, looking back at the past, you two had a great time. There was a very deep connection. And what this person is thinking about now is... Now that I'm single, I'm going to go back to Aquarius and see if there's any chance that we can mend that bridge. Let's just see if we can do it. What is this person saying to Aquarius? Yeah, they've gone through a lot of soul searching. This person has really grown up. OK, they've seen that they were dealing with somebody who cheated on them. And this is somebody who is now realizing that you would have been the better choice. You could be connecting simply with a Virgo. So Aquarius, you're thinking about the Ten of Swords. Now you may be understanding this person went through betrayal, which could be you quietly thinking, well, yeah, they got their karma because they put me through it. It could be you remembering how swiftly they left your life. Are they going to do this again? So what is Aquarius going to say to this person? Nine of Wands. Aquarius, you're going to be open and honest with them. You're going to say, look, um, I didn't know whether or not I wanted to have anything to do with you. I didn't know whether or not I even wanted to pick up the phone or answer the email because of what you put me through in the past. You are saying to this person, Aquarius, you've got questions, I think. Yeah, there's you. Queen of Swords, I've got questions. You're not exactly, you know, welcoming this person with open arms, but what you're realising is they're single, they face karma, and they really do want a relationship with you. They're serious, right? Yeah, world. You've realised this person has learned a lot of lessons, they've closed down a karmic cycle with somebody else, and they've done a lot of soul-searching about what they want for the future. And basically, Aquarius, they've realised that's you. What is Aquarius going to say to this person? The hangman. You may say to this person, well, my goodness, it's been a while. I mean, this could have been months or even two or three years since you last spoke to this person. You may say to them, I want to sleep on it. Let me think about it. Um, it's great to see you. Thanks for explaining. Thanks for apologising. I'll contact you in a couple of days. You may just want to consider what this person has said to you. Yeah, and then you're going to leave. So whether or not you guys meet for lunch or supper, you're going to have a sit down face to face conversation. And then you're going to go and consider what they've said. What you're going to think about is, well, they face karma because their person betrayed them. 
so they know how it feels, so they're less likely to do that to me, again, maybe. You're also going to think, well, they're now single, and you're also going to be considering that they've chosen to come back to you, even though it may have been something that they really didn't feel that they wanted to do because it would have meant swallowing their pride and having to explain the truth and apologising. And that wouldn't have been easy. So you're thinking about all of this. What is the energy between these two people? What is the energy between these two people? Eight of Pentacles, yeah. So Aquarius, what this person is wanting to do is work on the connection with you. They're ready, they've changed, they've matured, and they're single. What you're thinking about is, is it worth putting effort in with this person, considering what happened in the past? Now, what you're fearing is the Eight of Swords. You're fearing not being able to make any decision. Do I leave this as a one-off meeting or do I contact this person and say, you know what, after what you've said, let's see if we can come together again. Let's go out and have dinner. It might be something like that. Why is Aquarius sat in the Eight of Swords? Okay, because Aquarius, ultimately, you know that this is a bit of a risk because this person wasn't honest before. They messed you around and they deserted you. But what you're also realising is with the Two of Cups and the Queen of Cups, you develop feelings for this person. Why is Aquarius sat in the Eight of Swords? Yeah, because you know that this time they're serious. This is, oh my goodness, they do want a relationship. They're not just coming back to apologise. They see themselves with me in the future. So this is quite a big deal. Now, what you're hoping to do, which is interesting, is the Seven of Wands. Looking at the other energies coming through, I think the Seven of Wands is you hoping that if this person is pursued by anyone else, they will sit in a moral energy and they will push other people away. That they're not going to try and date you as well as other people. You may be feeling you need to put up strong defences. Sure. So let's see what Aquarius is hoping for. Yeah. You're basically hoping, Aquarius, that this is somebody who still doesn't have a choice between you and someone else. What else is Aquarius hoping for? <laughs> Sex of Wands. So, Aquarius, you are hoping to be victorious in this. You're hoping that this time around, given what this person has told you, this has a chance to be successful. This is beautiful. All right. Now, the Page of Pentacles, I think you two are going to start dating. I don't think you're going to be shifting into this too quickly. You're going to take it day by day. <laughs> but with the Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Cups, there is a sense of fantasizing about the future, feeling that this might be a destined turn of events, feeling as if this was all divinely guided. You may have thought to yourself, Aquarius, when this person left your life, you may have wondered whether or not they would ever come back to you. You may have felt intuitively they might do. What is this person's energy? Yeah, they're going to be incredibly humble with you. This is somebody who almost can't believe that you've accepted their apology, that you've agreed to meet them again. And this is somebody who wants to prove to you that they want to treat you right going forward. This is somebody turning up with little gifts and this is somebody sitting in a humble energy of apology, okay? What is this person thinking about? Ace of Swords. That whatever happens, that you... They have put the past in the past. That whatever happens, they are not connected to anyone else and they've learned a lot of lessons. 
This is also somebody being honest with you, Aquarius, okay? Wow. Knight of Coins. So they're going to be talking to you about moving things forward. So if you meet now and again for lunch, it's going to turn into dinner. It's going to turn into them staying for the weekend or you staying at theirs for the weekend. You guys may go away for a few days together. It's going to start developing. What is Aquarius thinking about? Yeah. Yeah. What you're realising, Aquarius, is this is actually turning into a proper commitment. This is turning into a proper commitment. And that you've manifested this because you gave this person a second chance. You didn't sit on your high horse. You didn't say to this person, I never want to see you again. You decided just to go with the flow and it's actually reaped rewards for you. What is this person saying to Aquarius? What is this person saying to Aquarius? I'm ready, Emperor. I am ready. Wow. As I said, Aquarius, this is somebody who is dating for marriage. They are going to make it known, Aquarius. They've got really serious intentions, you know? Wow. So guys, we've got the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So you're realising, Aquarius, this is somebody who means business, okay? They're not messing about. And they already know, Aquarius, that you're the one for them, you know? Wow, guys. Empress, that is unreal. So we've got the Emperor and the Empress and the King and Queen of Coins. We also, of course, saw... The Queen of Wands and the King of Wands and the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. This is your person, Aquarius. And this is you understanding, Aquarius, that this could go all the way. It could go all the way. Do we have any final cards for Aquarius? The Sun. <laughs> so the Sun is the most positive card of the deck. That is happiness moving forward into a beautiful cycle. For some of you, you're connecting with the Leo. There could be talk of moving in the future. It could be moving in together. It could be moving to be with each other in the same area, if there's any distance involved. But Aquarius, this is you having had the courage to say, OK, I forgive you. Let's take it slow. And this is the divine rewarding you for making that decision. Sitting in the energy of compassion and forgiveness. And this is the result. It's beautiful. Guys, it's beautiful. So without further ado, let's get some messages. Here we go. White Rose Guidance, Divine Love Messages, Volume 2. What do we have for Aquarius? Thank you, Michael. Okay. Oh, wow. First message, facing my reflection is more than I can handle. There's a lot of guilt, remorse, regret. I want to be there for you to take care of you. This is someone who really wants to prove that they can be a loyal, honest partner. Okay. Wow, guys. The kindness in your heart is so beautiful. This wants to come out too. You leave me breathless and without words. Wow. It's like we share the same mind and heart. Thank you for your beautiful light and energy in my life. They so appreciate you. So Aquarius, for many of you, this is literally happily ever after. I think this is someone who's done a lot of thinking. They face their karma. They've grown up and they've had the courage to come back to you to apologise and to prove that they are worthy of standing by your side, Aquarius. So I'm leaving the reading there. It's a gorgeous reading. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, Aquarius.